Welcome to the Tech Wolf YouTube channel. On this channel, we talk about career, cybersecurity, and life. And on this video, we're gonna talk about how to get into GovTech primarily on the cybersecurity side. So for me, I've been working in government contracting for about five years, about three years on the GovTech side, mainly in cybersecurity. I'm an information system security officer. So I have a lot of experience uh, working in this field. So I'm gonna just tell you some of the tips that help get me a job personally. So step one, I would start doing some research on what in cybersecurity interests you. Cybersecurity is a vast field. There's different things you can get to in cybersecurity. You got red team, blue team, digital forensics, uh, RMF, uh, analysts, auditing. There's so many things you can do in cybersecurity. So just sit down, maybe go on YouTube, watch some different career fields that you're interested in, see what they t talk about, see what they're doing, go on Google, do your own research, even go on Indeed, start researching different positions and find out what you want to do. So it, it will help you just to sit down, and just think about what you want to do, because it because it's just so vast, you know. For me, when I got into cybersecurity, I didn't really know specifically what I wanted to do, and I didn't really train up or get the proper skills to get into specifically what I wanted to do. But you know, it, it all worked out at the end of the day. But I would just drop, I would just literally sit down and just do research on what you want to do. Step two, I would start getting educated and start getting your certifications. So what I, I would start going on Indeed and just searching up what job you want to do and start looking at what certifications that job requires. Majority of the jobs is a requirement to, in a, for, the, for government technology, for, especially on the DOD side, just to get your security plus. But for certain jobs you want to do, like if you want to become a network engineer, maybe study more on your CCNA. If you want to get into digital forensics, maybe get in your NK cert or one of the GX cert. So I would just sit down and just decide which cert fits best for what you want to get into in the GovTech side. And then also I would just start start getting educated. Maybe you want to go back to school, get some education in it on cybersecurity or specific field things you want to do for your career. Just get educated. Uh, just or even just take some course online, even YouTube. Just make sure you just do your own research and just get as educated as possible. Also, too, if you can get some internships, maybe a little bit of experience doing some internships, maybe a paid internships, or if you can just do some free work, maybe some free IT work for uh, maybe your church or maybe uh, a school. Just do your, you know, just do an internship and see if you can get that to add on your resume. So just do your research, get your certification get educated, do some internships. So now you're on step three. So with step three, you got your certification, you got your education, you got your internship. Now you need to start updating your resume. So you need, and then also when you update your resume, you need to tailor it to the position you're trying to get. For example, I'm an information system security officer. I tailored my resume to that position. So for example, I would go on Indeed, look at some keywords, try to tie in some of the certification stuff I did, education, internships. I would try to tie that to my resume. I wouldn't lie, I would just tailor the things that I already did. Then also too, I needed some help trying to figure out how I should structure my resume. So for example, I would go and Google type of information system security officer resume or entry level resume, go on Google images, type that in, then a lot of resumes will pop up. So when those, when those resumes pop up, I will see how to tailor my resume properly or write my resume properly to meet that job. And that's something you can do for whatever position. So whatever job you want to do, tailor your resume, update your resume for everything you got, and then we're about to get on to the next step. So now we're on step four. So with step four, after everything you did, you need to start applying for jobs. So what you would do is there's different, so you can either apply for government contracting agencies or the agencies directly. So there's different job boards you can go to. If you're trying to uh, become a, get a government contractor, I would either go on Indeed. There's a couple of companies you can check out. You can check out Booz Allen, Boeing, GDIT. That's the main government contracting companies. I would apply for those. Next thing I would do, if you're trying to get on to the, you probably directly to those, comp to those government agencies, I would go on USA Jobs and just start applying on USA Jobs to see if you can get a job on there. So make sure you just start applying. Just if you update your resume, don't waste it. Start applying for jobs as soon as you can. So start applying. So now we're on step five. So now you did everything you had to do. You start applying for jobs. Then the last step you need to start doing, start preparing for your interviews. You need to prepare for them technical, 
Make sure you know everything you're supposed to know about their systems. Just make sure you know as much about the company. Just start preparing for as much as you can for the interviews. What I would do is just go on the company page, look up the company, understand what they do, understand what the job description is. Make sure you go on YouTube, look up some of the interview questions, maybe check out some of what they do in a position. If there's some things you don't know during the interview, for me, my experience, just say you don't know and don't put it on your resume because they're gonna ask you about it. If you don't know, do you don't know. Don't try to do that rambling thing. If you don't know, you don't know, but just start preparing for the interview. Make sure everything you know as much as you can for the position. And then after that, you're in government contracting. So that's pretty much everybody. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share your experience in the comment section of getting a, a job in government contracting. That's pretty much it, everybody. Get 1% better every day. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, everybody.